And now it's time for a retro edition of the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for the episode that aired on Monday, September 22nd, 2003. The first show of the Price is Right's 32nd season. The pricing games that were played on that day were the following. Lucky 7, Time is Money, Pushover, Plinko, Dice Game, and Squeeze Play. Our first contestant was Travis. He played Lucky 7 for a Cadillac DeVille that features a 4.6 liter North Star engine, white diamond exterior color, paint sealant, fabric protectant, and the comfort and convenience package with the sexy Shane Sterling in the driver's seat. First number of the price of the car was 4. For the second number, Travis believed that was 4. It was actually 6, cost $2. For the third number, he believed that was five. And it was five. For the fourth number, he believed that was seven. And it was seven. He's in good shape now. For the fifth and final number, he played it safe and went with five. He could be off as much as four dollars one way or another. And the actual final number was... Three! That cost him two dollars. The actual retail price was forty-six thousand five seventy-three. He the, to buy the car cost a dollar. He had two dollars left for gasoline. He could buy a couple ounces with that. Either way, he won the Cadillac. Awesome! Way to go. Our next contestant was Kimberly. She became the first contestant in Price is Right history to play Time is Money. She played Time is Money for an Electric Craft 14 LSR electric powerboat modeled by the ravishing Rachel Reynolds, valued at $11,487, as well as $500 in cash she could win. For the five grocery items in this playing of Time is Money, here's Rod Wright to tell you all about them. Let's begin with garlic, grand garlic tablets. Garlic is clinically shown to help maintain healthy cholesterol levels, help keep your heart healthy. Remember, garlic has a unique cholesterol's natural enemy, used as directed. Goldfish baked snack cheddar crackers, a small snack that goes a long way. Tylenol, arthritis pain, just two tablets, last up to eight hours for all day pain relief. With safety, that can't be beat. Tylenol, arthritis pain, used as directed. Preparation H cooling gel cools on contact. No wonder people are saying I should use Preparation H. Use as directed. And uh, make a great meal or recipe with healthy request tomato soup. Capture the fine taste however it's used. Now, Kimberly. Thank you very much, Rod. Kimberly placed the Pepperidge Farm goldfish crackers and the Campbell's soup on the under $3 shelf. She placed the garlic on the three to six dollar shelf, and the Tylenol and the Preparation H on the over six dollar shelf. Was she right? No, no, she wasn't. Kimberly could take her five hundred dollar voucher and head back to San Bernardino, or she could trade it in and get an additional fifteen seconds and make changes. She decided to take the $500. So, what did she have wrong? It was the garlic and the Tylenol. Those were out of place. The garlic was $13.99 and the Tylenol was $3.49. But she did win $500 and that's a consolation win. Maria played pushover for a Dodge Dakota 4x2 that features a Magnum V6 engine, under rail box bed liner, customer preferred package 23X, engine block heater, and tilt steering column modeled by Rachel and lucky Lanisha Cole. Maria pushed three times with three blocks going over, making a price of $18,150. And when Bob revealed the actual retail price, it turned out to be $18,150. Maria is a winner. Mm -hmm. 
Jessica played Plinko for a chance to win up to fifty thousand dollars. The first small prize, which was modeled by Shane, was a single long CD player. Jessica believed zero was the last number instead of nine being the first number. Shane revealed the price to be fifty dollars. Next was an electric walk. Jessica believed eight was the last number instead of nine being the first number. The price of that was sixty-eight dollars. Next was a was a Lipman nitty gritty roller mop. Jessica believed one was the first number instead of eight being the last number. The price of it was fourteen dollars. She earned another chip. And last but not least was a 1930s style clock. Jessica believed 5 was the last number instead of 6 being the first number. The price revealed by Shane was $25. She won all four chips, which were brought to her by Rachel. Her first chip landed in... Actually, I got stuck on the Plinko board. Bob handed it to Rachel and Rachel brought it back up to Jessica to drop again. And it landed in $100. Chip number two landed in another $100. Chip number three, where did that land in? $1,000. Chip number four landed in $10,000. And Jessica's fifth and final chip landed in $1,000. She won a grand total of $12,200 playing Plinko on the 32nd season premiere of The Price is Right. Awesome job. Okay. Christopher. Christopher S. to be specific. Who was a United who is a United States Marine, played dice game for a Ford Taurus LX that featured a six-cylinder engine, automatic transmission, speed control, cassette package, and backup sensor modeled by Rocky Lanisha. Shane and Rachel wheeled out the dice game table. First number in the price of the car was a two. For the second number, Christopher rolled a 5. Was that the right number? No. But Christopher believed that the, that the next number was lower than a 5. For the third number, he rolled a 6. Was that right? No. But it, was, it wasn't was 6, so we knew it was lower. For the fourth number, Christopher rolled a 5. Was that right? No. He went with lower on that one as well. For the fifth number, Christopher rolled a 3. Was that right? No. But he went higher with that one. So, it was now time to reveal if Christopher was a winner. Was the second number lower than a 5? It was. It was a 1. We knew he had the third number, right? And that was 3. For the, was the fourth number lower than a 5? Yes, it was. It was 4. If the fifth number was higher than a 3, Christopher would own a Ford Taurus. Was the last number higher than a 3? No, it was two! Oh, man. Oh, I so wanted him to win that. Too bad. Christopher P. played Squeeze Play for a trip to Monte Carlo modeled by Lanisha and Shane. Seven was the first number, and six was the last number. Numbers in the move were 5, 2, and 5. 
Christopher chose to remove the first five, making a new price of $7,256. And when Bob revealed the actual retail price, it turned out to be... $7,556. So we had two pricing games won on that day, and those were Lucky 7 and Pushover. Plus we gave away a total of $12,700 in cash. $500 won by Kimberly and Time is Money, and... 12,200 won by Jessica in Plinko. MVPs go to Travis and Jessica for their pricing game wins, as well as Maria for winning pushover as well. And contestant recognition goes to Kimberly for her $500 win in Time is Money. Now, on to the showcases. Showcase number one featured a Frigidaire Gallery washer and dryer, a Keys Fitness Strength Trainer Home Gym 300, and a Chrysler PT Cruiser Limited. Maria decided to pass the showcase to Jessica. Jessica bid $23,000 on that showcase. Showcase number two featured a Laser Star Star Glow Jukebox, a 65 inch projection HDTV, and a Chrysler Sebring LXI convertible. Maria bid $27,500 on her showcase. For the showcase reveal, Bob went to Jessica first. Jessica bid $23,000 on her showcase. Actual retail price, $25,452. A difference of $2,452. Maria bid $27,500 on her showcase. Actual retail price, $39,873, a difference of $12,373. Jessica is our winner. She won a grand total in catch and prizes of $39,092. Way to go, Jessica. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap is brought to you by Omen Joy. Unwrap Paradise. So, that's going to do it for me. This is NeoRox87 reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Goodbye, everybody.